Hi, my name is John Bell. I'm the course leader for the Master of Architecture course, which is the second part of your architectural education, giving you exemption from part two of the ROBA ARB prescribed exam. The Master of Architecture course is the second part of your design education in the course of becoming an architect. It runs over two years, um, and our course is particularly centred on designer's research. Across the two year period, we try and equip students with the tools to deal with both the technical demands of architecture and to understand architecture in its political and social context. What you do on the course is centered predominantly around design. We have a design research agenda which lasts across the entire year. That's supplemented by dissertation and by technology. Nearly all of our students go on to become architects, although there are other contingent areas which we have had people um, move into, such as set design, games design, exhibition design. But at the core of what we do is, is to uh, enable people to become architects. I think UCA is a great place to study. Um, we have a proven track record. Currently we're sitting at number five in the Guardian Architecture League tables, so I guess we're doing something right. Uh, but more importantly, I think, the culture of the school is very particular. At UCA we've got a lot of shared workshops, so we have casting workshops, woodwork and metalwork workshops. We also have print workshops, uh, extensive photography facilities, um, supported by really good technicians. The technicians here are great. They're used to working with artists, architects, designers. You can't phase them, and they have some interesting requests. But we also have facilities which are particular to architecture. We've got a fab lab where we have now, I think, five laser printers, CNC cutters, and also our track lab where we work with VR technologies. And we currently have the full set of contemporary VR tools. All of those things are, are freely accessible to students and are supported by the course. One of the things which defines the MArch is our staff to student ratio. We're able to give students a lot more attention than is the case at some other places. And I think that's incredibly important in building relationships, but also enabling students to feel that they're not adrift, that, they're, that they are uh, able to access staff, whether it's their design staff, support staff, technicians. Students here, I think, can feel that they have a, a home, somewhere to work which they have control over, that they can determine. We're very keen on students being active in their own education. So while we provide a framework, one of the things that characterises the Master of Architecture here is the ability for students to a significant degree to plot their own course. So we like to think that we produce people who make a difference in the world. George Bernard Shaw, the famous playwright, said, be unreasonable. The world was never changed by reasonable people. And so we try and encourage students to be appropriately unreasonable. In terms of employment, we have really high employability. We have graduates working in major practices, both in the UK and abroad. Graduates are distinctive because they're engaged with what they do. They're articulate, self-possessed, and entrepreneurial. They're hardworking, they're smart, generally sociable. Uh, I quite like them. <laughs> um, yeah, they're, they're really good. They're here because they want to be, not because they have to be. One thing which characterises them is a shared interest in, in architecture. They, that binds the community together. We, we're doing something that we are mutually invested in, that we enjoy, and it's a pleasure to help them to try to realise their objectives. Where you choose to study is incredibly important, not just for the intellectual diet, but also for the community, for the social situation. And at Canterbury, we have a very strong community across the schools. Mostly, it's driven by students' desire to enhance their experience, both as learners, but also um, as part of a, an overall school culture. We're very accessible, and all students have uh, a dedicated design tutor, and so they can talk to them, or they can come and talk to um, members of the larger course team. I think the thing that sums up the course most clearly is that we encourage students to develop design methodologies ways of choosing better, which after all is the core of all design activity. How do we make better choices? So in that respect, the course is not so much a mirror of practice, but more the chance for students to take two years to reflect on, to experiment and to develop their own voice as architects.